Good day everyone, how's it going? Coming at you from the studio today. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through my five tips and tricks for the Canon EOS R. So let's get straight into it. Tip number one helps me to solve a problem that I was having with the control ring adapter on the EOS R. Basically what this does is I'm turning off the control ring adapter with the lock button so that when I set the ISO with the control ring, it doesn't auto set or I can't bump it or change it. Uh, what was happening is it was dropping down to auto for, for some reason. I was setting it to 100, but then I would look at, the, look at the screen and it would be set to auto. So somehow it was like doing it itself or I was bumping it, I'm not so sure. But anyway, using the lock button and locking out the control ring means that I can hit the lock button, set my ISO with the control ring, then hit the lock button again, and then it locks that out so that I cannot move it or bump it when I'm focusing with the camera. So this is a game changer for me because it was an issue that I was having with the R, but it's solved by doing this uh, change and making this change and it works really well. There's also other things you can lock out with the lock button as well. So, you know, you might lock out the rear scroll wheel or even the touch bar uh, or the touch slider, which is something that I know a lot of people are getting false touches and problems with it. So you can hit the lock button, lock that out as well. So that's a really great tip for you. The second tip is to program the down button to the menu button. So I was having a problem where I, when I was shooting in low mode with the camera, so you imagine holding it like this, then having to remove this hand to hit the menu button. But now all I do is I move my thumb down to that bottom uh, button. And when I'm in video mode, literally can hit that bottom button and then I have access there to the menu. And what I did is I had to make another change, which I'll explain later, but doing that to get back out of the menu system, I had to switch the shutter button as well. And I'll show you that later. It's a game changer to have the menu button on the same side as everything else. So you have access directly to it there and you don't have to remove your hand every time to go to the menu. The next tip, and this is a little bit of a trick, I feel, which is not, my title is not clickbait. I feel this is a bit of a trick that most people might not know about, but when you're in photo mode on the EOS R, you can actually use the record button on top, press record on top, and it will jump straight into the C3 mode on the camera. Say if you're going to do a photography shoot and you wanted to set up uh, a way to video and take photos at the same time. Say predominantly you're doing photos, but you wanted to come out and do video to just get a few extra shots here and there. Well, my suggestion is to first set up your exposure and everything for video with the C3 mode, then flick the camera into the photography mode. And you'll then be using the camera in the photography mode. But what it allows you to do is when you hit the record button, it drops you into video mode for the C3 that you just set up and all the functionality is there in video mode. You can change the exposure, you can change the ISO, you can change the shutter speed. All those things are controllable right within the video mode while you're recording video. So my suggestion is you're taking photos, click, 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 click. You think, oh, I want to video that. You press the record button and then you adjust while you're recording your settings. So you adjust your settings to suit that scene while you're recording, you shoot the video, end the record button and then it brings you back into photo mode. I think this is great for hybrid shooters, someone who's doing a lot of video and photography all at the same time and you can uh, produce it all on the same camera. I would then have the quick modes like C2 and C1 set up to do slow-mo and different things depending on what I was shooting on the C3 mode. So then it's just a matter of flicking back to video and then shooting your video as normal. But for a quick go-to, I love the fact that you can just hit the record button and you can record while you're in photo mode. Okay, the fourth thing is remap the AF slash on button to the record button. I like it because I feel like it's positive. I feel like it's right where your thumb is, where you're holding the camera anyway, and it works for me. So I actually remap that button to my record button, and I like that way. And I generally use manual focus if I'm shooting B-roll, or I'll use an AF tracking focus or, or a tracking uh, focus, one of the tracking focus types when I'm shooting a piece to camera like this. So I don't really need that AF on and off button functionality. So that's the way that I set that up and that works really well for me. 
So finally, tip number five is to turn off the record button on the shutter. What was happening for me is when I reset the menu button, I was talking about that before tip number two, I reset the menu button, but then I had no way to get back out of the menu unless I half pressed the shutter button. And what was happening is I was having some false presses. I was false pressing record. When I didn't want to record, I just wanted to come out of the menu. So I actually turned off record on the shutter. Coming from the 5D Mark IV, I never used the shutter anyway for record. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'll just turn that feature off because all I want to use the um, shutter button for is to come out of the menu and also to get a picture of my exposure because you half press gives you that picture of your exposure and also it locks AF as well in video mode. So that's all I needed it for. I didn't need it for anything else. I didn't need it to start recording because I had two other positions to do the record with. So that's how I set that up. Well, that's it for this video, everyone. Just five quick tips and tricks on the Canon EOS R, and I hope this video helps you today to up your game in all things creative. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. You won't be disappointed in the content I'm gonna be producing in 2019. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.